I'll see the SRT, man. Is that the Bible? We the people? I think that's the Bible, isn't it? So I signed the paper and I recorded. I said, this is me signing this paper, but this is not the price. This is what he's supposed to send to the warranty company. But my price is going to be 23 Right, Jonathan? We hustle daily. You already know. We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video, y'all. See, we are in the big boy truck. I'm about to check on the other big boy truck, y'all. See where we at. Going back to the dealership. I'm about to check on the... Uh, about to check on the ram shut up i'm all the way over here look at this goofball look they looking too look what a goof look they hanging out the window and everything <laughs> What's going on, Hustle Nation? I just want to take this time to tell you guys about my Patreon. So for $2.99 a month, we're going to be doing giveaways. You get early access to content. You get to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. If you got any questions, I got an additional 35% discount code for WHDAcademy.com. You also get access to my Discord. And this is a community where we everyone can help everybody. And we can all help each other in this auction process. That is so goofy. Hey, y'all non-drivers, y'all need to boom. We here for upgrade, psych. We upgrading, y'all. Psych. All right, y'all, so let's see. Look, we got rams everywhere, y'all. All right, so we're going to check up on the uh, ram. Oh, I got to tell y'all, show y'all what's going on with it. Here, I'm going to just pull you up there real quick. Y'all, I ain't going in. I could take a thumbnail, though, to... Uh, probably clickbait y'all like i always do yeah be right back okay guys so now um oh let me explain to you guys what's going on with the ram i didn't even explain to you guys actually yeah let me explain to you guys what's going on with the ram we're here i'm i'm uh you know you know my mom's um my mom is my mom's in them truck is here my parents truck is here at the dealership y'all know we dropped it off a couple of days ago um uh, da, 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 da. oh i think i made oh i made a video for you guys so let's check out this video and i'm um, gonna show you guys what's going on with the truck but we are here at the shop she has to sign some paperwork or something like that but let me show you guys what's going on with the truck all right because they saying all type of stuff man make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell let's check out what's going on with the truck let's head to the computer we hustle daily let's go ahead and go over the paperwork on my people's um dodge uh not dodge ram 1500 all right i'm gonna go ahead and take myself off the screen so they're saying that it needs numbers 14 you guys can see it here number 14 and number 16. number 14 is a multi-function control valve in the fuel delivery flang so number 14, which is here. And then number 16 is a GVV. I'm not sure what a GVV is, but I can look up that. GVV Ram 1500. Uh, GVV stands for, that is GVV part. Let me see, G Ram 1500 part. Uh, I'm... You guys can't see my screen, but uh, flex fuel. Yeah, nothing's coming up for GV, but I will show you guys this. So this is what um, is coming up here. So this is what it's going to cost to fix the car, man. Now she does, they do have a warranty on the car, which is, you know, um, you know, taking something off of it. But this is the thing that uh, really confused me here. What's going on, Hustle Nation? If you're interested in learning how to buy, sell, properly inspect these cars at auctions or private party sales, make sure you head over to whdacademy.com. You're going to learn how to spot a bad car in seconds, how to get your dealer license, how not to get scammed from the auctions or private parties, and how not to get a limit. I got a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, and a lot of techniques in this academy that's going to teach you everything you need to know to be successful in this auction game. I didn't help thousands of other people you can see what they're saying i have helped all these people here you see in the comment section and who has been replying about the my academy so make sure you check out the website guys i got two options on there for you guys you get the full curriculum or i can just give you the basic how to inspect car package see you guys on the inside if you're interested if you look here 
Okay, the radio exchanges, that's the reason why the radio is messing up, right? That's the reason why the rest of your radio messing up. They're going to exchange the radio. By the way, the radio is just doing what it wants to do. It'll uh, switch to another station by itself. It, it will uh, uh, go to another fan control by itself. So if you got the fan on low with the AC on, it'll go to high by itself. Um, if you got the AC on cold, it'll go to hot by itself, you know, so the radio literally, literally does what it wants to do to change stations by itself. So that's the what the radio radio is doing. So that says radio me exchange radio 570. All right. So that I don't think that's, uh, you know, under warranty. Now, the things that confuse me, if you even you Google these parts numbers, I, I actually Googled these part numbers. This is a fuel tank, like it says, tank fuel. And this is a module fuel. This is a. This part number right here, this bottom one, module fuel pump level unit, that is really the fuel pump. You know what I mean? So they're saying that it needs a fuel tank and a fuel pump. Now, that is so crazy to me because to me that doesn't have no issue, no, no, uh, nothing to do with the you know the car not gas not being able to go into the car now when my mom uh went to the dealership she asked them about that because i was like what the hell you know what i mean she said they said that you can't just buy these parts or whichever part i'm not sure which one it is if it's the mfcv the um multi-function control valve or if that's the gvv whatever that is if y'all know what gvv is you know let me know in the comments below but they're saying that the part is like inside the fuel tank or something crazy they told her so i'm not sure man it is covered under warranty some of it not all of it of course uh does this break down how much the warranty total parts 1914 labor is 1004 taxes is 150 comes out to three something this with the 200 dollars deductible includes deductible everything is 23 without radio it's 17 it's 1377 hmm so they actually ordered the radio um uh you, you know what this reminds me of y'all this reminds me of when i took my mercedes benz to the dealership the mercedes benz dealership and they told me that uh you know it was gonna be a certain amount of price and you know what i mean and you just gotta pay it man honestly you know what i'm saying uh shit now i will say this if this doesn't solve the problem on him putting gas in a take they gonna have to fix that shit because i give me let me know in the comments below have you ever heard of a situation where the actual fuel tank or the fuel pump was the cause of gas not being able to go into the tank i'm not sure you know what i'm saying i'm not sure you know what i'm saying i don't know every single thing about mechanical about cars y'all i know how to get them the motherfuckers home i know how to don't get the wrong ones and drive home you feel me um so like something like this um y'all let me know in the comments below you know what i'm saying i'm definitely mechanically inclined but i've i've personally never heard of the fuel pump stopping gas from going into the tank you know what i mean so you guys let me know about that in the comments below i'm really curious about that all right but this is what we got man so this is what we're looking at that's the price that's the parts what do y'all think let me know in the comments below all right so what do you guys think are they trying to get over on us huh is the dodge trying to get over on us or what still got to get all this stuff off the uh windshield and everything all my other stuff is in the uh legs as far as razors and stuff got a chrysler pacifica um what else we got to do we got to get a mirror we got to get all this stuff off the windows like i said we got to get a mirror i just need the glass part hopefully they i can find the just like the glass part and don't have to buy the whole thing i'm not sure how that's gonna go but we will see y'all don't remember i actually uh oh we got the uh wide body right there if y'all don't know i actually had um uh, 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 oh, well, they actually had changed the mirrors on their... Oh, no, no, that's what I was about to say. I actually changed the mirrors on my parents' truck, the little side mirror. I actually had changed it. Um, and I think I remember them paying it. It was like 200 and some dollars, bro. But we do got the Scatty. Hold on. Come on, Scatty. Scat pack. You feel me? 392. Why the 392 need some service, y'all? Dodge. Dodge. But yeah, um, I actually found these caps. Y'all can see they black. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess they added that. The little black caps. Got the black 1500 sign right there. I found some silver caps. Is this open? Is this work? 
Oh, y'all see, we putting a truck together. I mean, putting a truck to, to work already. I got to stop this by my boy Bruce Mobile um, crib. You know what I'm saying? Because moms want this shit out her garage. And I don't really use those ramps. That's a brand new tire that I bought. I got from a car like it came out of a Chrysler like 200. I bought like probably six years ago. And I still didn't had it in my mom's uh, garage for a long time. But looks good. Just got to wait for... Um, them to come out finish uh doing their paperwork and then um i would show y'all around here but i don't think they got anything else new they got a lot of little wranglers right here but yep yeah. y'all see it but i'm definitely excited about the truck man i definitely like the truck i do kind of want to keep the truck i'm not gonna lie to y'all y'all know i've been asking y'all Okay, Hustle Nation, now all you have to do to enter to win my Lexus GS350 is purchase any one of these options here. Now, the number in the parentheses determines how many times your name will be put in a pot. So, for example, if you buy one for $25, your name will be entered in a pot three times. And if you buy one for $150, your name will be entered in the pot 100 times. But any of these options here grants you entry uh, to win my Lexus GS350. It's just the number in the parentheses is going to determine how many times your name be entered in the pot. The website will be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. And you can always go here and change the quantity here. So you can put five if you want to, which comes up to 750 bucks. Of course, the link to the website is going to be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. Don't forget, the winner of the giveaway will be flown in with a free plane ticket paid for by me so you can pick up your car and your title. Should we keep it? Y'all let me know in the comments below, but I definitely, you know, am enjoying the truck, so. Yep. Wait for moms to come out and see what they say. They had it marked up to 300 and something. Oh, you go my mom done recorded my mom done recorded the people because they were saying that the truck needed a battery guys a uh, uh, battery but she said they put it in there anyway alright I gotta go let me get down to here lady I'm so sorry alright y'all so um, so you got a truck you can just go through pull through i've been seeing them now i'm gonna see rams all the time now watch but uh yeah guys so yeah my you hear my mom's mom's recording the people trying to make sure they you know what i'm saying get everything right you know what i'm saying make sure they they ain't lying about the what you call it should be picking up uh the truck tomorrow i'm not sure if i'm gonna be with them to pick up the truck guys headed to go get my lexus remember this is all the same day this is probably the third video of y'all got of this truck but this is still the same day i still got the stickers on the window and everything so we're still working with the same day so i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all for rocking with me man i'ma see y'all when we go pick up the big boy lex with the legs like, uh, uh, uh. so he said well I, they, on the paper, it got the battery down to two thirty-five or something like that, two hundred thirty-five dollars. So I was like, I, I told you, I wasn't paying for no battery. I saw, I told him, I said, well, I, he, he said, oh, he said, radio came in today. So the guy got to test drive it and make sure everything all right and put the radio in, so it should be ready tomorrow. But I told him, I said, uh, uh, you told me twenty-three something, so that's what I'm paying twenty-three something. I guess without right so i said now nah, i'm finna we finna have a whole conversation and i'm finna record you because i know how you know how this game go i don't give a fuck what y'all charge the insurance company me not warranty people that need, i ain't got nothing to do with that dumb shit but i know what we supposed to pay so i did i had the paper i, I said what i said i said 30 yeah so i said so I said to pay. He said, "No, that's not what you're gonna pay." He said, "This is what I just have to send to the send to them." So I said it, and, and uh, um, so I said the paper, and I recorded. I said, "This is me signing this paper, but this is not the price. This is what he's supposed to send to the warranty company." But my price is gonna be twenty three, right, Jonathan? He was like, "Yeah, your price is not gonna be this. It's gonna be the twenty three. So I record. I said, "So I'm gonna record your whole our whole conversation." So. That way, ain't no janky stuff going on. 
This video has been sponsored to you by Auto Astat. Now, Auto Astat is a tool that I use to help me find out if cars were staged in Copart. For example, this 2021 Cadillac CT5 was sold for $24,800. But if you go down, you can actually see more information about the car. You can see that it was vandalized. That's why it's here. The car starts and everything. But if you go all the way down to the sales history, you can see that the car was also sold in 2021 and you can find out more information about it it was uh, sold by the insurance company state farm but if you click it you can also see that the car had another lot number that sold for 20,000 if you look at the photos here you can also see that this car actual damage was right here on the side there so that means that someone bought the car fixed the doors and then resold it back in Copart for $24,800 and they actually did the writing themselves so they were the ones who vandalized the car this website can also be used if you want to know how much I bought my cars for because I never really tell you guys how much I pay for cars so you can also find how much I pay for cars and if something is fishy going on with the car so if you are interested my link is in the description below make sure you sign up with my referral link and lastly this website can also be used for Copart and IAA so here's the Copart website all you would have to do is copy the lot number or the VIN number or you can go to IAA and also just copy the lot number. So here's the lot number here and all you would do is set it up top and there you go. So it works for IEA and Copart. And lastly, there is a monthly subscription. I personally use the Pro package, which is $49.95, but you can also get the personal um, package, which is $19.95. You can look up cars in the last two years and with the Pro package, you can look up cars in the last four years. But when I tell you guys it is worth it, it is really worth it. It has helped me save a lot of money. See the SRT, man. Is that the Bible? We the people? I think that's the Bible, isn't it? Let me know if y'all like that in the comments below. Back here at the, uh, back here at the, uh, the, the Lexus, you feel me? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. About to get back on the road. Love yeah. you guys and appreciate y'all for all y'all support. Got a long way back home. Probably yeah, about to give y'all some driving footage. This boy Ray, big play Ray, I'm out. Okay, Hustle Nation. Now, all you have to do to enter to win my Lexus GS350 is purchase any one of these options here. Now, the number in the parentheses determines how many times your name will be put in a pot. So, for example, if you buy one for $25, your name will be entered in a pot three times. And if you buy one for $150, your name will be entered in the pot 100 times. But any of these options here grants you entry uh, to win my Lexus GS350. It's just the number in the parentheses is gonna determine how many times your name be entered in the pot. The website will be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course, on the screen right in front of you. And you can always go here and change the quantity here. So you can put five if you want to, which comes up to 750 bucks. Of course, the link to the website is gonna be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course, on the screen right in front of you. Don't forget, the winner of the giveaway will be flown in with a free plane ticket paid for by me so you can pick up your car and your title.